Hey guys, Alex from Sea Eagle Boats here, and today we're heading out fishing. Me and my good friend David, we're heading out of Pine Island today. It's uh, pretty windy, weather is uh, not so good, but we're gonna see what we can catch. We're gonna go for some reds, possibly some trout, and maybe some snook. So uh, yeah, we're gonna stay probably in the creek because right now it's gusting at around 15 miles an hour. So we can't really head out into uh, deeper water, but uh, we should be able to get something with the uh, live shrimp that we got. Hey guys, David here, taking my buddy Alex out fishing <laughs> on the Fish Skiff 16. Uh, this is the first time I've been on this boat. I really enjoyed both the Fast Cat 12 and the Fast Cat 14 on our previous trips and adventures. So I'm really excited and pumped to see what we can do on this thing. Uh, we're not gonna be going far. We're gonna be staying pretty close to the ramp. Uh, we got cold front conditions. We're in the middle of it. Um, pretty much the only time we could go out. So we're just gonna see if this boat can handle it and see if we can catch fish. All right, so we made it to our spot. We only went uh, a couple hundred meters out of this creek and we're just uh, ducking over in this little cove away from the wind. I don't know if you can see here, but the wind's still gusting on us. So it's definitely a windy day. We got some overcast, but uh, we're hoping we can find something backed up in this creek. So we tried up the creek a little bit, but uh, no luck. We uh, think we found a much better spot on the map. I'll, uh, I'll show you right now on the video. And we're gonna head over head over to that spot and fish the docks and hopefully we can get some, uh, maybe some snook hiding under those docks. So we got up in this little creek that's uh, tucked away. Hopefully it's a warm water spot where the fish are hiding and we're gonna give it a try. Easiest way to get snapper, hide the hook. <laughs> yeah, right there, almost. We're already hitting it. Yep, on, nice. <laughs> Oh, one's on this one too. Both rods. <laughs> Doubled up. <laughs> we both fish on both rods. That's a bigger one. I know it's one. Yeah, that's a better one. A little bit bigger. A little mangrove snapper. Nice. Right away. Just about keep precise. So it seems like we're on some little snapper here. We're uh we're kind of breaking the bait in half, so it's a little smaller, and the snappers are going for it right away. <laughs> Another one. You just keep coming. Nice little snapper. Well, we're definitely on the snapper right now. You wanna see, we're using uh, some live shrimp. Some of them are pretty feisty. We're keeping them alive though. And uh, yeah, you can see we have plenty of gear on the boat right now and She's performing nicely for us. Pretty loaded up because it's the two of us. We got live bait, we got all my camera gear, we got a uh, cooler and a ton of tackle. And uh, still we have uh, room to spare. And so right now we're just drifting down this creek 
And hooking up onto little snapper. Let's see, he might get one right now. Ooh, jumping snapper. <laughs> Bill Dance hooks in. <laughs> These don't want to let it go. I got a huge circle. So I think that's our, uh, was that our fifth snapper so far? In the matter of five minutes? Yeah. Let's see if we can get some bigger ones on these docks. Possibly some oh, snook <laughs> and redfish and or trout. There we go. All right, so we've been having our fun with the little snappers, but now we're gonna move into this dock area. <laughs> oh, he hooked up with something right away. Official. Let's see. I think it's a snapper. Just a good one. Nice snapper hooked up immediately. There we go. That's a nice size one. Keeper size. On the booty. That's some good eating right there. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> you can keep one. So that was a nice little uh, snapper on the voodoo lure this time, not uh, not the artificials, or not the live bait. So you can see here, we're uh, just basically <laughs> cruising with the wind, moving up, up this creek. Also guys, I just want to say, look how stable this boat is with both of, both of us standing on it, moving around fishing. So this is the end of the creek up in here with all these docks. We're hoping there's some snook hiding back here that we can get. The wind should be pushing up all the bait into this area. And uh, yeah, so hopefully something's hiding under one of these docks. A little snap, oh. <laughs> <laughs> we haven't hooked up with anything big yet back here, but uh, another little snapper and uh, we just moved the boat again. So we're going to cast into the shadows under these docks. Hopefully, uh, you know, some snook might be hanging out in the shadow line and see what we can do back here. So far, no luck with the, uh, the big fish by these docks, but we're going to give it a little bit longer, see if anything comes up. If not, we're going to go back to that creek and uh, catch some more snapper and maybe something else. So guys, no luck. Uh, no luck by those docks. We fished that creek again for a few minutes and uh, got another little snapper. Not sure if the camera got it. Um, got some cool shots with the drone for you. So now we're going to head over to another spot, see what else we can find. I'm really hoping to catch my first tarpon today. Chances are slim, but uh, it might happen. So we're gonna go check out some deeper water docks that might be a little bit deeper than the ones we were just at. I think the warmer temperatures are holding better quality fish. Um, so far, we've only been able to find super, super low water. As you can see right here next to us, we're almost hitting the bottom. We're on a really negative low tide in the winter time. Uh, the north wind is keeping the water uh, away from us. So even with incoming tide, it's not doing much. It's not coming up much. Uh, I was expecting it to help us a little bit more so what I'm gonna to try to do is get these deep water docks now and go to a little opening in the mangroves where there should be a nice little pond or, or lake almost in the salt water where tarpon might be. Never been there, but never know until you go. I also want to point out to you guys, even though we didn't catch our, uh, our massive snook yet, just look at the cool, the cool spots that a boat like this allows you to get to. We don't really need to worry about how shallow it is because this boat only draws a few inches of water and uh, can get over through all the flats. And uh, now it has a new keel guard on the bottom, so it's protected from some oysters. Obviously, I don't recommend ramming any oysters, but you're protected if you do. And uh, yeah, with a small boat like this, you just get to see the most beautiful areas that uh, sometimes you can't with a bigger boat. I got a fish. You got some? Nope. Nope. Oh. Catch of the day.
just saw a mantis swim by. Hopefully I can get the next one on camera. No luck with the uh, bigger fish where we just were, but at least I got to see a manatee. And uh, yeah, now I think we're gonna go back maybe to that snapper spot, maybe keep some snapper for dinner. We gotta get a snook, so we're gonna try these mangroves real fast, drift through here, see if we can't skip underneath some bushes and show you guys a snook. There's too many of them in this area for us to not get a single one, even if it's small. So we're gonna try to get a small one. <laughs> there you go, we're going for snook. Let's see if we can uh, get one on the boat. We're only in a few inches of water here. Also, let me just point out, we've been out here for a few hours now. And we're still on a full tank of gas. So we're just uh, scooting along the edges of these mangroves here. All right guys, so this is what I'm using right now. Just a nice little bright color jerk shot. We got bright sun, so bright color. If it was darker out, I'd go dark color. I'm just searching along these mangroves as quickly as possible with the artificial over the live shrimp because I can cast this over and over and retrieve it a lot quicker and then the live shrimp. The live shrimp will die very fast if I continuously do that. So once we find where these snook are stationed up at, then we can switch over to the live bait, the live shrimp, and probably catch a few more in numbers. All right guys, so fishing is really tough today. The sun just came out for the first time and it's probably 3.30 in the afternoon. Um, we're not getting a single snook hit. We're not getting a, a single sight or, or notion that a redfish even exists. Um, the only thing that we've been able to find so far are snapper and they're everywhere. So it might just be one of those days where nothing's gonna bite and who knows, in an hour, two hours, or even tomorrow, bite could turn on. So we're just gonna keep looking for the time we do have remaining and hopefully we can get you guys a good fish. So right now what we're doing is just uh, cruising along the edge of the mangroves and uh, David's casting along the side into the shadows, see if uh, anything comes out. So we found this little uh, hidden cove back here where it seems like a few boats actually just got washed up or they were pushed in here after the storm. Um, I'll show you on the map where we are. It's a nice little, uh, nice little cove that might have something in here. Seems like all these boats got a, uh, must have gotten towed into here. So we're gonna try a few more spots here and see how it goes. It's getting getting uh, cloudy now, a little cold out. We got some music going on, live music. Over there you can see the pass. So we're gonna give it a go and see if we can get more fish on the boat. All right, so this one spot I've been to before and I know it holds snook. However, we are just not having anything work out for us. As you can see, it's so windy, it's pulling our anchor, our stick anchor. And although this is a good spot, the wind direction right now is blowing all of the seaweed from the pass right into here. 
bites. Now that doesn't affect the fishing too much, but it does affect getting on your baits, which make it look unnatural. So we're still uh, still cruising along the edge of the mangroves, trying to get more, uh, trying to get something on the line. But uh, I just want to say, if you guys like what we're doing with our videos, make sure you subscribe, like, and comment below, and let us know uh, what you want to see see us do in, in more videos. And uh, yeah, just uh, we're here to answer any questions you might have. Not the biggest. There was a bigger one behind it. Another snack. Got a snook finally. <laughs> There he goes. All right. Get a little bigger one. Well, we finally hooked our snook. It was a little small one, but. A little big. All right. Second snook of the day. Finally got one just to show you. Well, there you guys have it. It was uh, the end of the day. We we're heading into the boat ramp, decided to take a few more casts. Caught two snook, a few more snapper, and uh, yeah, nothing, nothing crazy big, but at least we got some different species on the boat. So that was a successful day of fishing, if, uh, if I had to say so. So uh, yeah, thanks for watching as always. Keep on watching and next video we're gonna have some some cool stuff for you i'm going out on a different boat probably the paddle ski and i'm actually going to use the torpedo with the solar panel on it so i'm going to be charging as i go it's really cool you can basically go a lot of the day on the water as long as you have some nice sun to keep recharging that battery so yeah stay tuned we're going to have some cool stuff in the next next video thanks guys